welcome back digital watch fans to vintage digital watches and to this japan haul yes the way i do it is uh, over the course of two months i buy stuff from japan then i make a larger package like this and ship them over to me i like buying from yahoo auction japan because for the condition prices are a lot better even including the taxes and usually the watches haven't been tinkered with and they also have some other stuff that is watch related that you can find uh, outside japan so enough talk let's get to unpacking uh, and this has already been opened by customs you can see how they package it uh, they put it in individual uh, boxes or uh, bubble wraps okay let's start with this auction nice just look at that a white data bank yeah super super cool the data banks had these uh names like this is mondo style there's also dino zone but if you can make it out in the background uh, there is a graphic and it's a seiko a158 uh, now, usually these have uh, the graphics all scratched up, but this one, as you can see, it's in really good condition. And there is something up with that LCD uh, in the back. It's a very common module, so it won't be hard for me to source another module if I don't manage to fix this one. But yeah. And yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a Rico. And uh, I've been uh, into Rico for the past year, they make some really interesting models. I will make uh, a review for, all in a video for many of their watches, but uh, yeah, I really like them. And <laughs> this is super, super light. I don't think it's metallic, but yeah, uh, an oddball brand that has a lot of potential. Okay, so first things first, uh, this is a tag for a G-Shock and it's for a, uh, it's a DV6700. Um, when you find that watch, usually hits without a tag. And I found the tag and I said, hey, why not? And I bought these two, but uh, I think it was one auction. This is the manual A158 uh, for this guy over here. Uh, yeah, the manual popped up from a different seller and I said, hey, why not? And this was in the same auction as that manual and it's, uh, yeah, it's for actually this Seiko. It's the 0139, uh, it's a rare one. I don't have this model, but having the manual will maybe make me want to get it. I don't know, we'll see. I like to collect uh, digital watch related books because uh, you get an impression of what they made in specific years, what the prices were. Very interesting nonetheless. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, we get to the good stuff here. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> look at all the colors they came in. And outside of japan we had no idea they made them like this okay now the last item <laughs> i don't know how i stumbled i stumbled upon this well i know i wrote data bank but it's uh apparel is i believe the english word for it a t-shirt <laughs> I don't know if it's my size or not, but it says data bank. Let's try this on. Yeah, so these are all the items. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.